NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the Minnesota Vikings and the Philadelphia Eagles. And now out comes Minnesota. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, helped their spot, and stacked him up. From the 27, Cousins complete. Smith has it. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First down, Irv Smith and partner. It just feels like this is his year because you remember him as a second rounder in 2019, and he had to share the starting job at tight end in his first two seasons. After almost 700 yards and seven touchdowns, the job is truly his here in Minnesota. On first and 10, Cousins. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Cousins now to throw on first down toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, here's Cousins. And complete right side to Cook. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches, throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 32-yard line. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. I'm not sure he falls under the category of mobile quarterback, but he's athletic enough that if you don't keep your rush lanes intact, he finds a way to hurt you. As coaches like to say, I wouldn't call him a burner, but enough there in the tank. First down, here's the run with Cook. And running room scares here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. To Jefferson on the slam. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 16. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Cousins gives way to Cook, and he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. To throw is Cousins. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They 
did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this is going to be caught along the sidelines. Probably shouldn't have been caught. He's going to lose yardage there. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. Joseph now to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes the return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 23. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play in the drive and also give him the first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. But first down, it hurts. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And Daniil Hunter, he's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. And not an easy spot here. There'll be a search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Here's Hurts to throw. The Sanders has got it complete. And some room to run now. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And once again, this is Sanders. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll make it second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. 
Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 18. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll and this drive continues to plunge forward. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4 of 4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got nabbed for the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so, because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. From the gun, it's Hurts. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Three yards remain for second down. Hurt sets up to throw it. The kidder here, it's complete. And the Eagles are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. second drive of the game and after the field goal last time we'll see what they can get here at least they got points out of the last drive Charles I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick <laughs> most of them wanted to end with a PAT right in this case a field goal they'll take it way better than the alternative which is a punt yeah but you met fan bases that wanted that <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point that's it They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. On second down, Cook. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second until it's prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. A first down throw for Cousins. 
He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Vikings. K.J. Osborne, 69 yards. And the Vikings have retaken the lead. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen. Took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Taken in at the three. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. Cousins on first down. And he's brought down. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter as they go to work on a first and goal to throw Cousins. He'll dump this off to Cook. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. And that's a great job of tackling right there. If he could have made the first man miss, maybe he could have taken it into the end zone. Instead, they stopped him pretty well right in his tracks. And you often see that in the red zone. Offense has to be quick. In this case, the defense was quicker. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. A one-yard touchdown pass. And they're able to add on to their advantage on those slants everything happens so quickly what makes it work the timing between the passer and the receiver in this case a slant route ordinarily is probably about three steps before you go on the slant in this amount of time i think it was a two-step deal boom put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass got inside for the pass got inside for the catch and the score Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. They go play action with Hertz. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man comes are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. It's Cameron Dantzler who picks it. And the Vikings. 
Vikings are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 48 yard line. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Cousins now. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Cousins to throw it. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. It's not cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Third and short yardage, Cousins. Open man is Osborne. He's got it. And he will have a Vikings first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they picked up the first down. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Throwing Cousins. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Give the sack to Fletcher Cox. They gobble up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks him backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. So now after the sack, Cousins and the Vikings come up here third and long. They're going to look to throw. Yeah, that will be incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. The Vikings send out their punter, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid game. Play action. Here's Hurts. And that's incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion.
After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit, too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The sack coming from big Dalvin Tomlinson. And this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. It's a second down run with Sanders. And yeah, nothing doing here is this time the run maybe gets him back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Throwing his hurts. And that is incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. Throwing his Cousins. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. Now a throw here to his running back. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Throw left side on target to Thielen. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. On third down, you'll give him that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. The Vikings send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. So not just running into the punter, but roughing the punter. And I'm struggling with this one. You know, you're watching it, partner. Is it more the first rather than the latter? This is a tough one. Almost feels like he felt like he had to call it on that play. A lack of discipline defensively on fourth down, and now that leads to a first and ten. To throw is Cousins. He's got Smith here. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. And he is going to be taken down. They got it. Is that is 
going to take us to the two-minute warning. Brandon Graham in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. To try again after the sack. Cousins setting up the screen for Cook. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and the lead will hold at 10. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. from just shy of midfield. Hurts. This will be caught once again by Brown. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Over the middle here to Brown. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Second down and three. Here's Hurts to throw. Well, that's complete to Sanders. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. They certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. to So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know, virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal.
So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And the Vikings going to take over here one more time before the half. One second, all that remains. Final play of the half, Cousins. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we hit halftime with our visitors, the Vikings, taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach taking it about the one. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. All in all, pretty manageable deficit, Charles, here as they start this third quarter offensively when you consider the fact that in the first two quarters, they had two costly turnovers. I think you laid it out there perfectly, partner. Very tough to hold a lead going into the break if you continue to hand it over on multiple drives. Yeah, and obviously, Charles, it would be very tough to climb back into the game if those turnovers continue. I would say borderline impossible. You keep turning it over, I don't know how you make up a deficit. Zadarius Smith able to get him down. I have to think a major focus at the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. We'll go down as a gain of six. And now we've got a third down and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. Play fake, Cousins. And that's off the mark, incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so it went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Cook up the gut. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. And that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C in completion on first down, and you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Cousins. from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The Vikings send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Hurt. 
Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Hurts sets up to throw it. It's caught. Smith. Only able to gain a couple there. And now two yards to go on third down. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Now come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Buying time to his left. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never down for a second. They pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on the keeper the moment it revealed itself. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Escape. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Daniil Hunter able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away for pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. It's a seven-yard gain that gets him back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and ten. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And we're into the second half now. This is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. And the football going back to the Vikings offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. So the completion gets them just a yard, and it'll be second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Cousins now from the 50. And his throw is incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. 
after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Draw play, Cousins to Cook. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Now Cousins. And that will be incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. The Vikings send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Another run with Sanders. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. They'll get a couple of yards on the keeper, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. The Eagles send out their punter now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at the 40. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. Cousins to throw it. Complete. Jefferson to target. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. From the gun, here's Cousins. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser Lee. And they take over the set up shot at the 46 yard line. But first down, Hurts. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. It's Cameron Dantzler who picks it. And the Eagles are going to take over once again at their own 37 yard line. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. So he'll be stopped here for no gain, and that'll bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, 
so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. To throw again on second down. Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard. Complete. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. They gave up the completion there, but this is what their defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. On the draw, here's Sanders. Oh, nice move. <laughs> a strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. So it's pretty simple, partner. You pick up a turnover, set you up in excellent field position. The last thing you want to do is go three and out in this spot. Yeah, they would have had to settle for a field goal attempt, but now they keep those touchdown hopes alive. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Watkins. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the six now on second and three. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Step, and he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will cut this lead back down to four now at 17-13. So an interesting call there to take the three, I and mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but the you know, fourth quarter of that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there. Hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Taken in at the three. And he returns this to the 22. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Cousins here on the bootleg, rolling to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. And now offensively, it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play call is thinking, what have I done before this worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. To throw, Cousins. Got an open man finding Jefferson. 
And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Well, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. They'll take this up just shy of the 40. Excellent display of footwork on that run. It was T.J. Edwards who brought him down. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Meanwhile, Cousins' throw complete to his receiver, Thielen. A first down for Minnesota. Cousins finding Thielen. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. On first and 10, Cousins. Looking sideline incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing his Cousins. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Normally being a big body receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Third down, Dalvin Cook. And of the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. Those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Quick slant here to Smith. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Throwing his hurts. Eluding the pressure right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Second down and seven. Here's Hurts to throw. Flush to his and time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Daniil Hunter bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Hurts fumbles it. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Offensively lucky they were able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. 
I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. And it goes a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And they will take over first and 10. And out now come the Vikings. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. A first down throw for Cousins. Another one on this play for Justin Jefferson. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. To throw is Cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 20-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. From the red zone now, Cousins. And he's not able to get away. Saved back at the 22. Take him down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen. But somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead. And thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. And he'll wind up picking up about four as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. On third down, Cousins. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left, as they call the timeout defensively. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll run with Cook. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings will add to their fourth quarter lead. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, They'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. 
fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down by 11. A minute 47 on the clock. They need a touchdown with a two-point conversion and a field goal in either order as they've got it first down. Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Hurts trying to hurry up the offense. From the 27, Hurts over the middle to Smith. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. First down now, but that clock rolling. Hurts sets up to throw it. Into the hands of Sanders. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. Pass complete. Goddard. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. They'll look to throw again. Sanders has it over the middle. And they will get the conversion on third down, but the clock, a more pressing factor. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw again. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. So the final seconds have tipped away in this Minnesota victory. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them in just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished.